live at 5. The family of Dante Wright will get to have their day in court. The officer involved in the shooting that killed Dante Wright has been arrested. The charges she faces. Plus, Wisconsin's highest court turns down another COVID restriction put in place by the governor. And in Washington, President Biden says U.S. combat troops will be out of Afghanistan by September 11th. We will not stay involved in Afghanistan militarily. Our diplomatic and humanitarian work will continue. And later, how a Minnesota grant is helping preserve history. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from a protest in Duluth tonight that started at the Clayton Jackson McGee Memorial about an hour ago. Black Lives Matter Twin Ports is holding the march to demand justice in the death of Dante Wright, a 20-year-old black man who died at the hands of Brooklyn Center Police on Sunday. Protests have occurred nightly in the Twin Cities since, and now those in the Twin Ports are also calling for justice. We'll go live to a reporter at tonight's event in just a few minutes. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Vaki. Tonight we're learning the former Brooklyn Center police officer involved in the shooting of Dante Wright now faces criminal charges. Chris Martinez reports. Former Brooklyn Center police officer Kim Potter is being charged with second degree manslaughter for the death of 20 year old Dante Wright. The family of Dante Wright will get to have their day in court. The young black man was shot to death after police pulled him over for an expired car registration Sunday evening. Police officers tried to arrest Wright when they learned of an outstanding warrant. <laughs> Police say Potter, who had been training a new officer, thought she reached for her taser, but fired her handgun instead. I cannot even believe it that this officer would engage in that use of force. They could have given him a ticket. I never imagined this is what was going to happen. I just thought maybe he was being arrested. Dante's mother said she was on the phone with the woman who was in the car with her son moments after the shooting. And it was a, on a FaceTime and she said, she was crying and screaming, and she said that they shot him. And then she pointed the phone towards the driver's seat, and my son was laying there unresponsive. Wright's death has ignited protests and clashes with police in Brooklyn Center and other areas of the country. If convicted, Potter faces up to 10 years in prison. Chris Martinez, CBS News. Officer Potter and Brooklyn Center Police Chief Tim Gannon resigned from their jobs on Tuesday. This all unfolds as the trial against former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin continues. The judge in Chauvin's murder trial says he won't acquit the former officer in George Floyd's death. Chauvin's attorney, Eric Nelson, requested an acquittal today. He argued prosecutors did not prove Chauvin's actions killed Floyd. The request comes a day after a use of force expert said Chauvin was justified in pinning Floyd to the ground because Floyd kept struggling. That witness, Barry Brode, contradicted a parade of authorities from both inside and outside the Minneapolis police force. They all said Chauvin used excessive force and violated his training. Right now, Black Lives Matter Twin Ports is marching in downtown Duluth to demand justice in the death of Dante Wright. TBS 3's John Cardinelli is out where the march is happening. And I just what's going on out there? Kristen, that's right. We're out here where the march is happening. We started at the Clayton Jackson McGee Memorial around 4 o'clock, and we've since made our way down First Street. We're stalled out here in front of City Hall, where it appears the protesters here are standing for about nine minutes to honor George Floyd and the other black lives that have been lost due to what they say is pro police brutality. I spoke with a couple pe people out here earlier, and they tell me that the second-degree manslaughter charge against Officer Kim Potter is is just not enough. They want to see more being done as time and time again we say they say they see police officers getting away with these such crimes. Now uh, I spoke with some people about just overall a sense of hope when it comes to lawmakers saying they're going to change things and they say it's time to see action and they're just tired of the talking. Kristen will have much more coming up later tonight at six for now I'll send things back to you. All right, CBS 3's John Cardinelli in Duluth for us tonight. Thanks, John. Well, new tonight at 5, a Duluth East student is now charged with a felony for allegedly bringing a loaded magazine to school. 
The 16-year-old made his first court appearance today. He's charged with being a minor possessing ammunition. His case will stay in juvenile court. The teen was taken into custody yesterday after school officials found the ammo in his locker. They were searching for an e-cigarette. The discovery prompted Duluthies to go on lockdown for an hour and a half. No one was hurt and no gun was found. Still no word on why he brought the ammo to school. President Biden has announced all U.S. combat troops will be out of Afghanistan by September 11th, 20 years to the date of the 9-11 attacks that al-Qaeda terrorists coordinated from Afghanistan. But critics say the hard end date could lead to more chaos and give the Taliban free reign to reinstitute harsh Islamic rule. Deborah Elferon reports from Washington. Good afternoon. President Biden says it is time to end America's longest war, announcing all U.S. combat troops will leave Afghanistan by September 11th. I'm now the fourth United States president to preside over American troop presence in Afghanistan. Two Republicans, two Democrats. I will not pass this responsibility onto a fifth. The deadline marks the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks that started the war. The president says his decision is based on al-Qaeda no longer posing a threat to the U.S. homeland and seeing no military solution to the problems there. While we will not stay involved in Afghanistan militarily, our diplomatic and humanitarian work will continue. We'll continue to support the government of Afghanistan. Some 3,300 U.S. troops will start leaving May 1st, a date the Trump administration had previously negotiated for all of them to be out. On Capitol Hill, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell voiced opposition to the pullout, echoing concerns the Taliban that controls a portion of the country and harbored al-Qaeda will regain a foothold and reinstate harsh Islamic law. Apparently, we're to help our adversaries ring in the anniversary of the 9-11 attacks by gift wrapping the country and handing it right back to them. The war cost the U.S. taxpayers trillions of dollars and saw more than 2,400 American lives lost. President Biden visited Section 60 of Arlington National Cemetery after his speech, honoring the sacrifice of troops who died in Afghanistan. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. Even President Biden's own intelligence advisors, advisors believe the Taliban is likely to make gains on the battlefield when U.S. troops leave. Taliban officials see the president's announcement as a four-month extension. They have withdrawn from scheduled peace negotiations and are warning of consequences. Closer to home, here's a live look at Wisconsin's capital as the statewide COVID-19 mandates took another hit from the Supreme Court. Today, the court ruled Governor Tony Evers' administration does not have the authority to issue capacity limits on businesses without approval of the legislature. The decision comes two weeks after the conservative-controlled court struck down the state's mask mandate. Meanwhile, in Minnesota, officials have extend, extended the peacetime emergency another month. They're hoping it will protect residents from more infectious variants of the COVID-19 virus. Dave's here now for a quick check of the weather. Dave, you asked me earlier, did I wake up to more snow this morning? I did not, and I was very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, my deck was snow-free, so last night's chance for the flurries didn't develop into too much. And in just a matter of hours, the rain-snow mix chance is going to fade away. So now we take a live look at up your neck of the woods there, Kristen. There's Highway 53 in between Chisholm and Hibbing, and you can see there's a raindrop on the camera, so the sky is still gray, and there's still a few sprinkles that could come down over the next couple of hours but the low that wrought them and brought them is moving away off to the east so we take a look at the latest doppler map here and we can see that the intensity of the showers and the flurries is fading down so our short-term forecast is calling for higher pressure to make those showers end as the night goes on and it'll slowly begin to clear up the sky by tomorrow for example then we should have a partly sunny sky dry conditions and a high of 47 which is normal which way will we go temperature-wise over the next couple of days? Warmer than normal? Cooler than normal? I'll show you with the seven-day in just a couple more minutes. All right. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, Vermilion Community College is hosting a COVID vaccine clinic for the public tomorrow. We have more on that as we take you around the Northland after the break. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson.
on live local CBS3. Get your news on the go. The CBS3 mobile app. Healthy Systems USA Spring Sale is going on now. Get a free bottle of Healthy Start Spray and lose 30 to 50 pounds in just two months with purchase of one month program. That's right, two month program for one month price. Call us today. Limited supply. Play It Again Sports carries the largest selection of both new and quality used ice hockey equipment, skates, sticks, and goalie gear you need to play the game. With lacrosse being the fastest growing sport in the Northland, trust their knowledgeable staff to outfit you with the right equipment at the right price. Play It Again Sports, Duluth and Superior. I had gone 20 years essentially without smiling. My dental phobia was, was strong. And the idea of coming in uh, and being able to sleep through the whole thing, that's heaven. That right there is heaven. In terms of an experience, I promise you, it will be the, the easiest dental experience you've ever had. Never be afraid at the dental office again. Call us today for a free sedation consultation. The big 6% instant rebate is back. Hi, John with Prime Appliance, and yep, that's right. You'll get an additional 6% off in the floor price instantly when you pay at the counter. What could be sweeter? Buy an Amana gas or electric range in black or stainless and take another 6% off at the counter. Or get a Frigidaire Top Mow Refrigerator in stock now and save another 6% off at the counter. Financing always available. Have our pros deliver and install or take it home today. Prime Appliance, the best place to buy your appliances. Congratulations, Bulldogs, on another great season from everyone at Fond du Luth Casino. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Healthy Systems USA Spring Sale is going on now. Get a free bottle of Healthy Start Spray and lose 30 to 50 pounds in just two months with purchase of one month program. That's right, two month program for one month price. Call us today. Limited supply. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from downtown Duluth where right now Saturday Properties is laying out plans to turn Old Central High School into apartments after they purchased the building last fall. They plan to offer 10% of the units at low income rates. Again, that meeting is happening right now and should last until 630. We have a link to tune in on our website. And Dave will be in with this week's forecast in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a look around the region. A free food distribution opportunity coming up tomorrow and a chance to support a local humane society. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. start off tonight across the Northland where the Arrowhead Economic Opportunity Agency is hosting several free food distribution events. Every third Thursday in April, the AEOA gives away donations of refrigerated food, including produce, dairy, and meat. Locations tomorrow include Virginia, Aurora, Cotton, Floodwood, and more. Times vary, and they ask that you don't arrive more than 15 minutes ahead of time. We'll have more information on our website. Next, we head to Ely, where Vermilion Community College will be hosting a community vaccine clinic tomorrow. The clinic will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and they will be administering the Pfizer vaccine. The focus for the clinic is on those 16 years and older, college students and the general public. No walk-ins will be accepted, and those 16 and 17 years old will need parental consent. Finally, we wrap up in Superior, Wisconsin at the Douglas County Humane Society, where their annual Pause for Love fundraiser kicks off this weekend. The silent auction is their biggest fundraiser of the year and will be virtual this year due to the pandemic. Starting this Saturday at 9 a.m. and lasting until next Sunday, the 25th at 9 p.m., more than 120 items will be up for auction. Big ticket items include a Disney World trip package, a Beacon Point stay that includes a helicopter ride for two, and new this year is the chance to name a litter of DCHS puppies or kittens. All proceeds help the Humane Society of Douglas County. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland, city by city. 
still to come on Live at 5, preserving history comes at no small cost. We learn more about a local historical society that recently received state funding in just a few minutes. Well, today we managed to push our high temp to 44 degrees, but our average temperature, our normal, went up a couple of degrees as well, so we're still chasing normal. Missed it by 5 degrees today. Will we get any closer tomorrow now that we're chasing away the rain and the clouds? I'll let you know coming up after the break. Welcome to CBS This Morning. We have a lot of news today. Watch Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopel on CBS This Morning. Weekday mornings only on CBS. handcrafted for every lifestyle making memories since 1882 in store at 365 canal park drive or online at duluthpack.com with over 30 years of providing the best service in the northland ogston's body and paint has built their reputation through honesty and respect so when bad things happen to your vehicle trust ogston's to make them right again Congratulations, Bulldogs, on another great season from everyone here at RJ Sports. The world changed in an instant, but at Mediacom, we were ready. And as internet traffic increased, we never slowed down. Schools and businesses went virtual, and we powered a new reality. For more than 20 years, we've been building a future-ready network to keep you ahead of it all. And now, Mediacom will be among the first to take you to 10G. We're making the next giant leap forward in internet technology and taking you further than you can imagine. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Weeknights on CBS. Northwest Outlet is your ARE Truck Topper Headquarters. If it's important to our nation... The country is facing yet another unprecedented crisis. It's on Face the Nation. Making politics make sense. The why behind the biggest stories. Face the Nation on CBS. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Lake Superior College. Now, the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, let's talk about our high temperatures here today. We tried to push them up, as I said a few minutes ago, but we weren't quite that successful. Baby steps, I suppose. Top temp, 39 degrees, happened in places like International Falls, Big Fork and Ore, Ely 2. 40 straight up from Grand Rapids through Coleraine and Nashua, Kiwat and Taconite, all those great towns, Bovee. Hitting 40 and Hibbing there. Oh, 43, Hermantown and Proctor and Moose Lake. Mid-40s for Silver Bay. Northern Wisconsin getting a little perkier. Superior 47, 48 in Ashland, 46 Hayward. Upper 30s for the Upper Peninsula. Usually they're warmer than the rest of us. Today, I guess it was time to pay the piper just a bit. But even 39 in Ironwood's not intolerable. But we'd like to get back to normal. Hopefully we get a little bit closer tomorrow. No big warm spells coming our way the week ahead. But I think we're going to chase away the rain and bring back some sun, so it probably will at least feel better, even if our thermometers don't register as such. Here's what thermometers are registering up over the hill at the airport. 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 76% for the relative humidity. And we have a northwest wind still going 10 miles per hour, 30.13 inches of mercury. The atmospheric pressure increasing at the surface and eventually will be increased enough aloft to help put those clouds away at least partially. Looking for a partly sunny sky tomorrow, for example. Oh, current temps in the Upper Peninsula now down a little bit. Only 35 waters meet, 37 for Ironwood. Mid-40s for much of Wisconsin. 43 in Hayward goes to 46 in Ashland. Superior at 45. Upper 30s from Cloquet down towards Moose Lake. Low to mid-40s up the North Shore and towards the Iron Ranges. Slipping down towards the upper 30s for a lot of places probably where the uh, low temps are going to go here tonight, upper 20s to the lower 30s. Now, we take a look at the Doppler map. 
low pressure system moving very slowly has now moved its center over towards the other end of Lake Superior and here in our neck of the woods then it's just the uh, tail end of the low still keep on a couple of showers going but they should pull away as we get into the overnight hours especially towards midnight then higher pressure settling in from Canada will dry us up from Thursday to Sunday it'll go back and forth between being mostly sunny one day partly sunny the other tomorrow we start the process with partly sunny go to mostly sunny on Friday all right now we see a Colorado low taking shape those can really bring some pretty powerful systems to our area. Maybe by Monday it's going to start coming towards us, but I don't think it's going to hit us very firmly. There is a 40% chance for a rain and snow mix on Monday, but the bulk of that precip may stay to the south. And you know, the way the last two weeks have gone, we don't need any more precip. We can take a sunny break and not feel guilty about it for a while. Tonight, showers ending in Minnesota. Low temps going about 27 to 31. And in Wisconsin and Michigan, the range of low temps is 29 to 33. Showers will end there as well, and that sets us up then for the partly sunny day tomorrow. Wisconsin, Michigan, high temps 41 to 48. And again, the UP may be among the cooler spots here in our area. Minnesota numbers mid to upper 40s with partial sunshine. And like I mentioned, we go back and forth then. Mostly sunny Friday, partly sunny Saturday, mostly sunny and 50 on Sunday will be the best day of the week to get out and about and enjoy nature, Kristen. Because Monday it gets cloudy and a 40% chance of a mix like yesterday's comes back again. Lucky for us, we're off on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah, that's a good <laughs> point. You know, I worked weekends around here for 20 years. I yeah. sometimes forget, oh, now I have weekends off. Yep, that I you wonder can enjoy what to it. Do. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you always have something going on. Yeah, I figure it out eventually. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Preserving history is crucial to understanding where we've come from, but sometimes it's not cheap. The Legacy Amendment provides thousands of dollars in small grants to support history projects across the state of Minnesota. And a historical society in Lake County just received one. CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo takes us to two harbors where they're gearing up to put the money to good use. The Duluth and Iron Range Depot in Two Harbors was built more than 100 years ago. Now, the Lake County Historical Society just received a grant to keep it up and running for generations to come. The $10,000 legacy grant comes from the Minnesota Historical Society. It will be used to hire a qualified architect to conduct a condition assessment of the depot built in 1907. The depot used to house the headquarters and corporate offices for the Duluth and Iron Range Railroad, earning itself a spot on the National Register of Historical Places. Lake County Historical Society Executive Director Ellen Lynch says the grant will help them preserve the building, pivotal to the Two Harbors community. People who arrive here just have kind of that fixture of place and um, can feel that history come alive um, when seeing historic properties. So I just really enjoy being able to be a part of that and really preserve it for generations to come. The Historical Society is currently looking for the architect firm they will use to create a long-term preservation plan. The depot also serves as a museum. Right now they're open Saturdays, but they're working to expand their hours for the summer months. Thanks, Kendall. The grant program is made possible by the Legacy Amendment's Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Minnesotans voted it into law back in 2008. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from the Minnesota Historical Society about why these grants are crucial to preserving the state's culture. Still to come, a major development in the case of a missing California college student from 1996. More on that after the break. Get free tax relief now at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale. And when you spend $4.99, you'll get an extra 7% tax relief. This sofa is just $836 after tax relief savings. With zero down, no interest financing for 12 months and free shipping. Tax relief savings now at Home Furniture. Hey, Northland. Link RV has just opened a brand new 18,000 square foot service and parts facility to meet all your RV needs. With 12 service bays and our brand new parts showroom, we're sure to have everything you're looking for. Link RV, our reputation is everything. What's the better DTA movement? Duluth Transit Authority is listening and working to improve your experience. Better routing, better bus stops, and better technology to plan your trips. Visit DuluthTransit.com to see how the DTA is making Twin Ports Transit better. Mariah Haberman here from Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and discoverwisconsin.com. 
Plus, subscribe to The Cabin Podcast, available wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. More Americans are growing their own vegetables than ever before. At Garden Mats, we're here to help people supplement their food supply with fresh, organic vegetables. Whether you are a beginner, novice, or master gardener, Garden Mats make gardening a breeze. Spend your summers trying to keep up with each other, not your weeds. Go to GardenMats.com and plan your garden today. A one data analyst wrote claims DPD shows racial disparities when it comes to traffic stops. Our 30% chance for showers is fading away. I'll talk about what's going to replace them. Tonight at 6 on CBS3. I got into journalism when I was in high school, actually, and that's where I really fell in love with the news and the storytelling aspect of it, being able to bring those things together and keep people informed. It's so important for us to be in a community like Duluth, to be able to hear your stories and then bring them to everybody else in the community. Watch Caitlin and Jenna in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. I've been teaching intro to meteorology here at Lake Superior College's flight school since 2003. Every year now for the past 18 years, I've been able to sharpen my own skills again once a year, but it's like I'm retaking intro to meteorology, and so I remember the rules of the sky, and it's easier to impart those rules on these pilots that are going to need to learn these skills so they can stay safe in the sky. For the most local forecast from the most experienced local meteorologist, turn to Dave Anderson. Home Seasonal Concepts is open and everything is on sale. Plus, when you spend $4.99, you'll get an extra 7% tax relief on patio sets, wicker, and fire tables. And zero down, no interest financing for 12 months. 7% tax relief savings at Home Seasonal Concepts. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Weeknights on CBS. Welcome back. Some big news out of California today. Two men have been arrested in relation to the 1996 disappearance of then-college student Kristen Smart. Earlier today, San Luis Obispo police arrested Paul Flores for first-degree murder with no bail. Police also arrested his father, Ruben Flores, as an accessory to murder with a bail of $250,000. Police are saying Smart was killed during an attempted rape by then-fellow student Flores. Investigators say that evidence gathered through search warrants over the past 14 months has allowed them to build a case against the two despite not yet locating her body. Other physical evidence has been found, but the warrants are sealed and little information is being released at this time. Coming up here on the CBS Evening News, a CDC advisory panel on the future of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as we learn new details about the 45-year-old woman who died shortly after her J&J &J vaccine. Plus, former police officer charged with manslaughter and the shooting death of Dante Wright. How did a veteran police officer mistake her gun for a taser? And a young baseball fan's simple gesture, what it can teach us all. That story tonight and more on the CBS Evening News. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. At UCARE, we have something to say to all our members, new and old. Thanks for choosing UCARE, giving us more reasons to keep moving forward and doing what we do best. Answering questions and helping members make the most of their plan benefits. Because we're simplifiers, decomplicators, and, well, figure-outers. Call or go online. We're here for you. Hey, we're always around somewhere. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Call 1-800-945-8449 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit.
Are you ready to freshen up your spring wardrobe? Then let the stylists at Angie's Closet help you find the perfect clothing or accessories that fit just your style. Want to give your home a new spring look? Angie has you covered with her new home goods collection. Visit Angie's Closet today located on Tower Avenue. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. With standard symmetrical all-wheel drive plus up to 33 miles per gallon. An available 260 horsepower turbocharged engine. Advanced technology. And an available extra-large touchscreen. The best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Lease the new 2021 Subaru Outback for $249 a month. 4710 Miller Truck Highway. Online at MillerHill.com. Get your news on the go. The CBS3 mobile app. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Our buy one, get one for a buck suit and sport coat sale is now in progress. Hundreds of options. Mainstream, downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Wednesday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and see what's coming up at 6. We were live on the scene tonight at the Black Lives Matter Twin Ports March as they call for justice in the shooting death of Dante Wright. This is a live look at that march this evening. Former Brooklyn Center police officer Kim Potter has been charged with second degree manslaughter. And coming up tonight at 6, the Duluth chapter of the NAACP is calling on the Duluth Police Department to stop pretextual traffic stops. More on what exactly that is and what past data from Duluth shows coming up tonight at 6. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you back here at 6.